a very pleasant and warm greetings to you all hope you all are fine in the last session we have discussed about pituitary gland thyroid gland parathyroid gland and thymus gland today we are going to discuss about pancreas adrenal gland and reproductive glands listen carefully pancreas so this pancreas is an important organ in the digestive system this pancreas is an important organ in the digestive system it is an elongated yellowish gland situated in the loop of stomach and duodenum it is a it is an elongated yellowish gland see here it is an elongated yellowish gland situated in the loop of stomach and duodenum stomach and the duodenum in this region that uh, pancreas is located yes then it is 6, 6 cm long and 2 inches wide the pancreas is 6 cm long and 2 inches wide then it has duct pancreatic duct and common bile duct so it has a duct pancreatic duct See, this is a pancreatic duct and this is common bile duct bile duct and the pancreatic duct then it has three regions that is head of pancreas body of pancreas and tail of pancreas so three regions are present in the pancreas first one is the head of pancreas then middle region is the body of pancreas and last one is the tail of pancreas then it has two functions one is endocrine function and another one is the exocrine function endocrine function and exocrine function endocrine function the pancreas produces chemicals or hormones that regulate blood sugar so endocrine function the pancreas produces chemicals or hormones that regulate blood sugar yes the endocrine portion is made up of islets of langerhans this endocrine portion that is made up of islets of langerhans this islets of langerhans consist of two types of cells the islets of langerhans consist of two types of cells they are alpha cells and the beta cells alpha cells and beta cells the alpha cells produce insulin the alpha cells secrete glucagon and uh, glucagon and beta cells secrete insulin yes so islets of langerhans has two cells that is alpha cells and the beta cells the alpha cells secrete glucagon and the beta cells secrete insulin yes now next one exocrine function so this exocrine uh, function the pancreas produces enzymes that help digest our food so exocrine the pancreas produces enzyme exocrine part to produ uh, produce enzymes that help digest our food yes so now we are going to see uh, pancreatic hormones and their functions functions of pancreatic hormones a balance between insulin and glucagon production is necessary to maintain blood glucose concentration to maintain the blood glucose concentration we need the balance between this insulin and glucagon production yes to maintain the blood glucose concentration we need a balance between insulin and glucagon production so first let's let's see the insulin Insulin helps the conversion of glucose into glycogen which is stored in liver and skeletal muscles so this insulin helps the conversion of glucose into glycogen it convert the glucose into glycogen that is stored in the liver and skeletal muscles yes second point it promotes the transport of glucose into uh, into the cells okay it promotes uh, the transport of glucose into all the cells then it decreases the concentration of glucose in blood it decreases the concentration of glucose in blood so these are the uh, three functions so first one it convert the glucose into glycogen that is stored in the liver and skeletal muscles second one it transport of uh, uh, glucose into into the cells then third one decrease the concentration of glucose in blood the next one is glucagon second hormone is glucagon glucagon helps in the breakdown of glycogen to glucose in the liver just opposite here breakdown of glycogen to glucose in the liver 
Next, it increases blood glucose level. It increases the blood glucose level. Then, the deficiency of insulin causes diabetes mellitus. The deficiency of insulin causes diabetes mellitus. The symptoms, what are the symptoms? First one, increase in blood, gluc uh, blood sugar level. The blood sugar level will be increased. That is known as hyperglycemia. Hyperglycemia. Second, excretion of excess glucose in the urine. So, excess glucose is released through the urine. That is known as glycosuria. Glycosuria. Then third one, uh, frequent urination. Often we feel uh, to pass urine. That is the uh, frequent urination. That is known as polyuria. Then increased thirst. Often we feel thirst. So that is polydipsia. The last one, increase in appetite. That is polyphagia. So these are the symptoms. The first one, increase in blood sugar level. That is hyperglycemia. Then excretion of excess glucose in the urine. That is glycosuria. Then third, frequent urination, polyuria. Increased thirst, polydipsia. Increased in appetite, polyphagia. Adrenal gland. It is located on top of kidneys. See here, it is located on top of kidneys. So this is right adrenal gland. This is left adrenal gland. So adrenal gland is located above each kidney. It is located above each kidney. So this is the right kidney. This is the left kidney. So right adrenal gland and left adrenal gland. Yes, now adrenal mean on top of the kidney. Adrenal on top of the kidney. So top of the kidney only it is present. So it is uh, adrenal meaning on top of the kidney. Adi what's the meaning of adrenal? On top of the kidney. Then suprarenal gland. It is a suprarenal gland. Yes. So these adrenal glands are called suprarenal glands. Cross section of adrenal gland. So adrenal gland has two regions. That is cortex and medulla. Cortex and medulla. So cortex is the outer portion. Adrenal cortex that is the outer portion. So it has three parts. This adrenal cortex has three parts. So that parts are known as first one is the uh, zona glomerulosa, zona fasciculata and zona reticularis. So this region is known as adrenal cortex. So here also three uh, regions. First one outer layer is known as zona glomerulosa. And the middle layer is known as zona fasciculata and inner layer is known as zona reticularis. So these three are adrenal cortex. So in this picture just you see adrenal cortex. This is the adrenal cortex region. Then middle that is the adrenal medulla. Clear? Adrenal cortex. The adrenal cortex consists of three layers of cells. This one already we have seen. They are zona glomerulosa, zona fasciculata and zona reticularis. Zona glomerulosa, zona fasciculata and zona reticularis. Yes, now hormones of adrenal cortex. What are the uh, hormones secreted by adrenal cortex? The hormones secreted by the adrenal cortex are corticosteroids. The hormones are known as corticosteroids. They are classified into two. They are glucocorticoids and mineralocorticoids. Okay, so the hormones secreted by the adrenal cortex that is known as corticosteroids. Okay, cortex region secrete the hormones. That hormones are known as corticosteroids. Again, these corticosteroids are divides, divided into two. They are glucocorticoids and mineralocorticoids. First, let's see functions of adrenocortical hormones. Okay, are glucocorticoids. That is, the glucocortic, uh, glucocorticoids secreted by the zona fasciculata are cortisol and corticosterone. Yes, the glucocorticoids secreted. So, these glucocorticoids are secreted by in which region? Zona fasciculata. Yes, zona fasciculata is the middle layer. Yes, so that, uh, uh, that hormones are cortisol and corticosterone. Cortisol and corticosterone in which layer? Zona fasciculata. Yes, so this uh, hormones, cortisol and corticosterone, regulate cell metabolism, regulate the cell metabolism, then stimulates the formation of glucose from glycogen in the liver. It stimulates the formation of glucose from glycogen in the liver. 
third one it is an anti inflammatory and anti allergic agent so these hormones are anti inflammatory and anti allergic agent okay understand so the glucocorticoids secreted by which region zona fasciculata so the hormones are cortisol and corticosterone so these hormones regulate cell metabolism and stimulates the formation of glucose from glycogen in the liver then it is an anti inflammatory and anti allergic agents the next one is mineralocorticoids the mineralocorticoids secreted by zona glomerulosa so in which region zona glomerulosa zona glomerulosa in which region which layer that is outer layer yes outer layer so the mineralocorticoids the mineralocorticoids are uh, uh, mineralocorticoids secreted by zona glomerulosa is aldosterone so in which hormone that is aldosterone now it helps to reabsorb sodium ions from the renal tubules it reabsorb reabsorb okay reabsorb sodium ions from the renal tubules so in the kidney yes then it causes increased excretion of potassium ions so yeah, it causes increased excretion of potassium ions adrenal medulla the adrenal medulla is composed of chromaffin cells it is composed of chromaffin cells they are richly supplied with sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves so this uh, uh, diagram already we have seen okay so that medulla region is richly supplied with sympathetic and parasympathetic nerves so first hormones of adrenal medulla what are the hormones secreted by adrenal medulla it secretes two hormones namely epinephrine and norepinephrine epinephrine and norepinephrine epinephrine another name is adrenaline and norepinephrine another name is noradrenaline epinephrine or adrenaline and norepinephrine or noradrenaline they are together called as emergency hormones so these hormones these two hormones are known as emergency hormones why it is known as emergency hormones see it is produced during conditions of stress and emotion so during the stress and emotion only in that situation this hormones produced so it is known as emergency hormones hence it is also referred as flight fright and fight hormone so which hormone is known as flight fright and fight hormone epinephrine and norepinephrine why it is known as emergency hormones it is produced during the conditions of stress and emotion so it is known as emergency hormones and flight fright and fright hormone okay now functions of adrenal medullary hormones so first one is epinephrine epinephrine or adrenaline it promotes the conversion of glycogen to glucose in liver and muscles so this epinephrine convert glycogen into glucose in liver and muscles second it increases heart beat and blood pressure so this uh, hormone which hormone epinephrine increase heart beat and blood pressure then third Uh, it increases the rate of respiration by dilation of bronchi and trachea it is related to lungs is it so it increases the rate of respiration by dilation of bronchi and trachea then it causes dilation of the pupil in eye okay it causes dilation of the pupil in eye then it decreases blood flow through the skin yes it decreases blood flow through a decrease the blood flow okay decreases the blood flow through the skin so these are the functions of epinephrine so first one is it promotes the conversion of it convert the glycogen into glucose in liver and muscles then increase the heart beat and blood pressure increases the rate of respiration by dilation of bronchi and trachea then it causes dilation of the pupil in eye then it decreases blood flow through the skin the next one norepinephrine or noradrenaline so most of its actions are similar to those of epinephrine so maximum uh, these uh, uh, functions only here also okay same the functions are same epinephrine and norepinephrine most of the functions are our actions are same reproductive glands reproductive glands are gonads the sex glands are two types they are testis and ovaries so reproductive glands are of two types they are 
testis and ovaries testis are in male and the ovaries are present in female first let's see the testis okay so testis are the reproductive glands of the males testis are testis are the reproductive glands or gonads of males they are composed of seminiferous tubules leydig cells and septoli cells so this uh, testes are composed of seminiferous tubules leydig cells and septoli cells yes leydig cells form the endocrine part of the testes these testes secrete the male sex hormone that is known as testosterone so the testes secrete one sex hormone they are known as testosterone yes testes are the reproductive glands of the males so this testes secrete the male sex hormone the name of the sex hormone is known as testosterone now see this picture yes this is the testicle or testes testes or testicle okay so this testes secrete the hormone that is known as testosterone in this diagram also shows testicles or testes two testes okay yes now we can see the functions of testosterone functions of testosterone first one it influences the process of spermatogenesis what is the meaning of spermatogenesis genesis meaning formation so formation of sperm that is known as spermatogenesis so it influences the process of spermatogenesis second one is stimulates protein synthesis and controls muscular growth this testosterone stimulates protein synthesis and controls muscular growth third one it is responsible for the development of secondary sexual characters development of secondary sexual characters so that characters are distribution of hair on body and face deep voice pattern etc so these are the secondary sexual characters hair formation or distribution of hair on body and face then deep voice pattern etc you know this clear yes so these are the functions of testosterone only three functions uh, influences the process of spermatogenesis protein synthesis control muscular growth then third one development of secondary sexual characters clear next one ovary this ovaries are the reproductive glands in female reproductive glands in female so let's see the ovary the ovaries are the female gonads located in the pelvic cavity of the abdomen so ovaries are the female gonads so where it is located pelvic cavity of the abdomen see this uh, diagram this is a structure of ovary now find out where is the ovary here two ovaries are present okay this one and this one these are the ovaries then this is fallopian tube uterine tube endometrium myometrium cervix vagina and fimbria so these are the parts also present here yes now the this ovary secrete the female sex hormones hormones so two hormones okay so one is estrogen and another one is progesterone so these are the two fe uh, two female sex hormones secreted by the ovary what are the two female sex hormones estrogen and progesterone so this uh, the, uh, this is of ovary this is also ovary so this ovary secrete estrogen and progesterone this estrogen is produ produced by the graafian follicle of the ovary and progesterone from the corpus luteum that is formed in the ovary from the ruptured follicle during ovulation so this estrogen is produced by in which region graafian follicles of the ovary okay estrogen is produced by the graafian follicles of the ovary and progesterone is from the corpus luteum so uh, these two hormones are in different places estrogen graafian follicles of the ovary and the progesterone corpus luteum yes that is formed in the ovary from the ruptured follicle during ovulation during ovulation it can secrete okay now functions of estrogens first one it brings about the changes that occur during puberty Du the puberty everyone know so during puberty some changes occur so because of the estrogens 
ओके नाउ इट इनिशिएट्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ ऊ जेनेसिस प्रोसेस ऑफ ऊ जेनेसिस जेनेसिस फॉर्मेशन सो ऊ जेनेसिस प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ova okay production of ova it initiates the process of oogenesis then it stimulates the maturation of ovarian follicles in the ovary so stimulates the maturation maturation of ovarian follicles in the ovary then it promotes the development of secondary sexual characters promotes the development of secondary sexual characters what are the secondary sexual characters that is the breast development high pitch voice etc these are the secondary sexual characters okay these are the functions of estrogens so what are the functions changes that occur during pre puberty then uh, initiates the process of oogenesis stimulates the maturation of ovarian follicles in the ovary promotes the development of secondary sexual characters now let's see the functions of progesterone functions of progesterone first one it is responsible for the pre menstrual changes of the uterus so what is the function responsible for the pre menstrual changes of the uterus then it prepares the uterus for the implantation of the embryo it prepare the uterus for what purpose implantation of the embryo then it maintains pregnancy this progesterone hormone maintains pregnancy then it is essential for the formation of placenta yes it is essential for the formation of placenta so these are the functions of progesterone so what is the ovary ovaries are the female gonads or sex uh, glands uh, sex uh, okay sex glands located in the pelvic cavity of the abdominal region this ovary secrete it two sex hormones they are estrogen and the progesterone okay so these are the two ovaries two ovaries are present in female have you all understood textbook evaluation roman number 1 choose the correct answer question number 6 lh is secreted by option a adrenal gland b thyroid gland c anterior pituitary d hypothalamus correct answer is anterior pituitary Number seven. Identify the exocrine gland. A. Pituitary gland. B. Adrenal gland. C. Salivary gland. D. Thyroid gland. Answer: Salivary gland. Exocrine gland is salivary gland. Number eight. Which organ acts as both exocrine gland as well as endocrine gland? A. Pancreas. B. Kidney. C. Liver. D. Lungs. Answer is pancreas. Number nine. Which one is referred as master gland? Pineal gland, pituitary gland, thyroid gland, adrenal gland. Answer is pituitary gland. Now, Roman number two. That is fill in the blanks. Question number six. Calcium metabolism of the body is controlled by dash. Answer parathormone. Calcium metabolism of the body is controlled by parathormone. Number seven, in the islets of Langerhans, beta cells secrete dash. Beta cells secrete dash insulin. Beta cells secrete insulin. Number eight, the growth and functions of thyroid gland is controlled by dash. TSH, that is thyroid stimulating hormone. The growth and functions of thyroid gland is controlled by TSH. Number nine, decreased secretion of thyroid hormones in the children leads to dash cretinism. Decreased secretion of thyroid hormones in the children leads to cretinism. Problem number three, match the following hormones with their deficiency states. Hormones disorders. A. Thyroxine. Thyroxine deficiency disorder is simple goiter. simple goiter number 2 insulin the deficiency disorder is diabetes mellitus diabetes mellitus number c parathormone deficiency disorder is tetany tetany d growth hormone deficiency disorder is agromegaly agromegaly e adh deficiency disorder is diabetes insipidus
diabetes insipidus once again thyroxine simple goiter insulin diabetes mellitus parathormone tetany growth hormone agromegaly adh diabetes insipidus roman number 5 assertion and reasoning direction in each of the following questions a statement of assertion a is given and a corresponding statement of reason r is given just below it mark the correct statement question number 2 assertion pituitary gland is referred as master gland pituitary gland is referred as master gland reason it controls the functioning of other endocrine glands it controls the functioning of other endocrine gland both the statements are correct so answer is a a question number 3 assertion diabetes mellitus increases the blood sugar levels diabetes mellitus increases the blood sugar levels reason insulin decreases the blood sugar levels insulin decreases the blood sugar levels here also a is the correct answer roman number 4 true or false question number 4 exothalamic goiter is due to the over secretion of thyroxine this statement is correct number 5 pituitary gland is divided into four lobes this is wrong the statement is wrong correct answer is two lobes two lobes number 6 estrogen is secreted by corpus luteum this statement also wrong answer is graafian follicles of the ovary estrogen is secreted by graafian follicles of the ovary short answer questions question number 5 what are chemical messengers what are chemical messengers the hormones produced by the endocrine glands are called chemical messengers the secretions diffuse into the blood stream and are carried to the distant parts of the body they act on specific organs which are referred as target organs this answer is in page number 233 the next one question number 6 write the differences between endocrine and exocrine gland this is not given in your book endocrine gland they are called ductless glands their secretions are carried by the blood stream they produce hormones example thyroid gland exocrine gland they have ducts to carry their secretions they produce enzymes example salivary gland question number 7 what is the role of parathormone the parathormone regulates calcium and phosphorus metabolism in the body they act on bone kidney and intestine to maintain blood calcium levels page number 236 is question question number 8 what are the hormones secreted by posterior lobe of the pituitary gland mention the tissues on which they exert their effect answer page number 234 the hormones secreted by the posterior lobe of the pituitary gland are first one vasopressin in kidney tubules it increases reabsorption of water it reduces loss of water through urine and hence the name anti diuretic hormone it reduces loss of water through urine and hence so that the name is anti diuretic hormone second one oxytocin it helps in the contraction of the smooth muscles of uterus at the time of child birth and milk ejection from the mammary gland after child birth so these two hormones vasopressin and oxytocin the next one which hormone requires iodine for its formation what will happen if intake of iodine in our diet is low what will happen if intake intake of iodine in our diet is low the hormone thyroxin secreted by the thyroid gland requires iodine for its formation the hormone thyroxin 
secreted by the thyroid gland recurs iodine for its formation. If the intake of iodine in our diet is low, the thyroid gland will not secrete sufficient quantity of thyroxine. The intake of iodine in our diet is low, the thyroid gland cannot secrete sufficient quantity of thyroxine. This leads to hypothyroidism. This leads to hypothyroidism. The following diseases are caused due to hypothyroidism. They are goiter, cretinism, myxodema. Goiter, cretinism, myxodema. Long answer questions. Question number 4. Where are estrogens produced? What is the role of estrogens in the human body? Where are estrogens produced? What is the role of estrogens in the human body? The female sex hormone estrogen is produced by the graphene follicles of the ovary. It is produced by the graphene follicles of the ovary. Then, role of estrogens in the human body. Role. First one, it brings about the changes that occur during puberty. It brings about the changes that occur during pu puberty. Second, it initiates the process of oogenesis. It initiates the process of oogenesis. Oogenesis meaning production of ova. Then, it stimulates the maturation of ovarian follicles in the ovary. Maturation of ovarian follicles in the ovary. Then, it promotes the development of secondary sexual characters that is breast development, high pitched voice etc. Next question, what are the conditions which occur due to lack of ADH and insulin? How are the conditions different from one another? First, lack of ADH. Deficiency of ADH reduces reabsorption of water and causes an increase in uterine output. This deficiency disorder is called diabetes insipidus. Deficiency of ADH reduces reabsorption of water and causes an increase in urine output. Increase in urine output. This deficiency disorder is called diabetes insipidus. Lack of insulin. The deficiency of insulin causes diabetes mellitus. Diabetes mellitus. It is characterized by increase in blood sugar level, excretion of excess glucose in the urine, Frequent urination, increased thirst, increase in appetite, increase in blood sugar level, excretion of excess glucose in the urine, frequent urination, increased thirst, increase in appetite. So, lack of insulin and lack of ADH. So, this answer is how to learn. Higher order of thinking skills. Question number 3. Sindhil has high blood pressure protruded eyeball and an increased body temperature. Name the endocrine gland involved and hormone secretion responsible for this condition. High blood pressure, protruded eyeball. So which uh, endocrine gland is involved? That is endocrine gland is thyroid gland, thyroid gland. Hormone, which hormone? Thyroxine hormone, excess secretion of thyroxine hormone. Endocrine gland is thyroid gland. Hormone thyroxine, excess secretion of thyroxine. Next one, fourth question. Sanjay is sitting in the exam hall. Before the start of the exam, he sweats a lot with increased rate of heartbeat. Why does this condition occur? In, uh, he sweats a lot with increased rate of heartbeat. Why? This is due to the secretion of hormone adrenaline in adrenal medulla of adrenal gland. Due to the secretion of hormone adrenaline in adrenal medulla of adrenal gland. Question number 5. Susan's father feels very tired and frequently urinates. After clinical diagnosis, he was advised to take an injection daily to maintain his blood glucose level. What would be the possible cause for this? Suggest preventive measures. Susan's father is suffering from diabetes mellitus. Susan's father is suffering from which disease? Diabetes mellitus. Therefore, he would have been advised to take insulin injection daily to maintain his blood glucose level. He has to maintain his blood glucose level so that he has to take injection, insulin injection. 
Frequent urination is a symptom of the disease and excess glucose is also lost from the body through urine. So frequent urination also occur. Why? Why? Because excess glucose is lost from the body through urine. Therefore, he would feel tired. Then preventive measures. Intake of foods rich in protein and avoid sugary foods like fruit juices, starchy vegetables. So intake of food rich in protein rich food ha he, has to, uh, he has to intake. Then avoid sugary foods like fruit juices and starchy vegetables. Then he has to take regular physical exercise. Then intake of whole grains and wheat based products also often he has to intake. So these questions uh, these answers are not given in your textbook so you have to write it in your notebook and learn.